Hey guys, Haseni na hope mko poa niko fiti and I thank God for everything karibuni sana in our today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for clicking it. My good name is Pauline. If you're new here, you're much welcomed. Kindly sit back, relax and enjoy because here you're gonna love what we are doing here. So, in this video guys, I just want us to talk about this. Mademo wa security hapa Qatar. Muna choma picha, muna tuaribia, muna aribia mademo wengine. Mademu wa security mnaribia wengine. Kuna kampuni ya security ilifungu hapa hivi kabidi, kabidi watu watafute kazi. Ilikuwa, ilikuwa kampuni ya wasichana. Hawa wasichana ilibidi watafute kazi kwa kampuni ingine na wakapata. Lakini chakushangaza ni kwamba hawa wasichana walipoepele kwa medical before sasa wa, wafanyue nini transfer vizuri. Hawa wasichana watu walifail medical. Wote walifail. Walipatikana na nini na ukimwi. Uki, ukimu ilitoka wapi? Hawa wasichana na ile kampuni walikuwa nafanya kazi ni wale wasichana walikuwa napenda stare. Kutafuta ha, nini pesa ya, ya nini? Wanaitanga aje hii pesa ya, ya, ya kando kando hii. So I know most of you could have watched this video and I just wanted you to have a recap of what I want to talk about. So mine is just an advice because we have heard about it. We have listened to it and if maybe you don't understand Swahili, if maybe you don't understand what the guy is saying, he's saying that there, like this is just to summarize because he said so many things, but it's about girls who are selling themselves in Qatar, maybe in Gulf countries and 20 of them were deported because they tested positive HIV and they were supposed to, like they were doing a medical checkup or medical something to do with job. They got new jobs because the company they were working previous, previously for was closed. And they were looking for new jobs. And you know the rule here is when you're joining job or maybe when you're starting working somewhere, you have to go for medical checkup and to, just to make sure that you're physically fit or maybe you're medically fit. So that is what happened. They went for the medical checkup and too bad it happened. We are not happy to say this. We are not celebrating to do these videos, but it's just for awareness. So that is what happened. That is what the guy said. Um, mine is just to advise all our ladies out there, big, small, medium size, whoever will watch this video as long as you are a lady or maybe for men also this goes out to you because we all came here with a purpose and i just want to talk to you if you're watching there yes you are more talking to you sit down relax enjoy this video and be positive about it in every story let's learn to get a, a lesson like let's learn something from every story it might have happened to someone else just to educate you or maybe just to awake you or just to let you know that maybe what you are doing is wrong what you are doing is right and stick to it so what am i trying to say when you came from your country either kenya either anywhere anywhere where you come from and you went somewhere to work you knew very well you left everything behind and it was you and your life you have come here to hustle which is true so that is what happened to us to everyone including me that is what happened and when i came here i didn't carry anyone with me that is in term of any male friend or any male companion or something like that any spouse or something so that means i am here and i'll be alone for the rest of two years to get finished until when i go back to kenya that is when i will decide on what to do but when you're here you have your goals you have your dreams Kunale mambo enyu ulikume jipangia like you know, mi naenda golf, nifanya kazi for this time, ama nifanya kazi, nijijenge, nifanya kazi, nifanya hivi, you know, we all have that purpose, we all have that plan that we want to achieve before we retire of course. So, it's too bad that most of us when you tunakuja huku and we forget ourselves, we forget where we are coming from, we also end up forgetting our dreams and we forget about everything and every plan that we had, which is so bad. And um, I'm not saying that was their case. I'm not saying so, but I'm just trying to refresh our minds. I mean, be, me being one of us, I'm not just talking to you guys, but it's also, also mine. Like it's a message to everyone, including myself. That is something that we should observe. So what am I trying to say? Avoid bad company. Avoid friends who are lying to you. 
avoid people who will influence you to do things that you didn't want to do stop proving yourself to be something that you know you are not and the love of money that is something else so when i talk about these five things i think everyone will understand me because if not for the love of money you will not end up selling yourself if not for the love of money you will not end up sleeping with men for money if not for the love of money you will not end up going somewhere maybe going for raves and all those stuff just to find people who will pay you or people who will give you money in order for you to satisfy them you know sexually or something like that again if you end up having bad influences utakuwa na marafiki wenye wanakuambia tufanye hivi tufanye hivi and by the end of the day you know very well this is not me this is not what i want to do this is not what i'm used to do and this is not what i wanted to do stick to what you want to do and don't let anyone else change your mind don't let anyone else change your behavior because by the end of the day no one will be responsible for that it is you you are a grown up you came here knowing very well what you were came, coming for and i think it's also good for us to stick to what is right so and the third thing when i say about proving ourselves is sometimes you have this group of ladies you have this group of men and maybe your colleagues and now it's your off day they tell you now you know what we are going somewhere to party you know very well you're not that kind of person who wants to party who wants to go out with men who wants to go out with people who wants to sell yourself you know but because you just want to prove your friends you know what i am a big girl i want to do this you want to chill with the big boys please don't just don't be you be yourself stop proving yourself to people who will not be there to support you people who will not be there to hug you when you are crying alone so when you want to prove yourself you will end up in a mess you will prove yourself and you will put yourself in a big big problem like you want to prove yourself like you know there are those people who for instance you have friends they love doing things and for sure you know that i am not this type of person this is not my thing but you just want to prove to them you know i'm also a girl i can do it and i can do it better than you guys that is where the problem will come in and just be satisfied with the small salary you get ulitoka kenya vizuri kijana mimi nakuja kufanyia 1000 and you said yes you sent your offer letter or maybe you came here as a housemaid and you were very satisfied with it but after some time ukajua kumbe kuna pesa zingine zinakujaga za haraka kuna pesa zingine naweza pata mingi wakati mmoja listen and listen and listen to me when the deal is good just think twice about it why will someone pay you 300 dirhams or reals or maybe 500 dirhams for a night why just think about it if we have this love of money na tukipenda pesa sana ndo unapata sometimes tunaingia kwa vitu zingine zenye sisi wenyewe hatukua tunajua ama vitu zingine baadaye tunakuja ku regret i'm not saying this was the case with our sisters or maybe anyone who is suffering out there but if we try at least to kusikiza e video and let's take everything positive na to practice whatever we are doing and check on which kind of friends we are following stop proving yourself to someone who is yani unajaribu kujiprove kwa mtu wakati ukipoteza kazi huyo mtu kesho atakutafutia job ukipoteza kazi yako leo huyo mtu anakupiga block juu ukienda home there's nothing hakuna unapigwa block na mtu unabaki hapo kihasul tv yako so let's let's think and let's stop all this now imagine ulitoka Kenya you did your medical checkup you did everything ukafika huku when you were going to report for your job also you did another medical checkup and you were fit and that is why they offered you the job where you are right now so you messed things up or maybe you tried to prove yourself to your friends or maybe because of the love of money you ended up doing something else na kazi imepotea now you go to another company or maybe you go to another employer who wants to hire you but you cannot be hired before you do your medical test and now after the test that is when now the bombshell starts unaenda kufanya medical and you're not pregnant but you're positive hiv you don't have hiv but you're pregnant what will you do yani hiyo inakuwa ni kama those are dreams shattered because remember ni kitu hauko umepangia tena if you are going to look for a job somewhere else that means hauko umejipanga kurudi home let's be sincere hauko umejipanga kurudi home 
na ndo sababu una hustle job ingine. That means if you had enough or maybe ulikuwa save ya kutosha hata hii job ingine ungetafuta but unatafuta kazi ndo at least tuendelee kujikimiki maisha na endelee kujijenga si ndio? So dreams zinakuwa shattered wakati tunafuata friends wenye they don't care about us because i know for someone who cares about you hata kupeleka kwa club enda kukwambia eti tufanye hivi someone who cares about you ataenda kukunulia pombe ukiwa na njaa someone who cares about you hata kuonyesha like you should love money more than everything it's okay tunapenda pesa si wote but zinatoka wapi that is the question that you're supposed to ask yourself hii pesa inatoka wapi inakuja na njia gani you know all those things and when we follow all this hizi shida zote tutaondokea now you go back home you are positive you are not the same person you used to be before and a lot has changed in you this is not something that you can reverse it's not something like you can abort it's not something that you can treat you will be under medication for the rest of your life so guys tuache tamaa hata wale wenye tunafanya kazi za nyumba hata boss wako hata nani akuje say no ni kubaya unaweza kosa kuuliwa unaweza kosa kufanywa vitu mingi but unaweza gonjeka unaweza beba mimba yani there are a lot of things unaweza pata my infections there are so many things that can happen it's not just like a must for you to be killed not a must for you to be done all those stuff but so many things can change in your life some things that you didn't expect and things that you can never explain to people what really happened so guys i'm just concluding to say that tujichunge let's be careful Bishara yako iwe ndogo iwe kubwa ipende venye iko. Ipangie, you know, if you get a salary, ipangie majukumu unatoa ngapi ya chakula ni ngapi kwa wanyo wanaishi nje, ya nguo ni ngapi, anything that you want na ujisavie. Do not forget to save. Tujichunge, tujunge waseni kubaya. Na pia kwa wale wenye wako nje, please guys, let's let's just be careful, let's love each other na at least tusaidiane kufuata njia ya maana ndiye yenye inasaidia kila mtu sio eti kwamba ni kila time kuko hivi kuko hivi na we just follow each other to some other ways which are not helpful and then at the end of the day see what it means kwa shida kuna mwenye anaweza saidia mwingine you know all those things so a lot happens a lot has been happening and guys i just want us to be good tusiende tu tukiharibu kila mahali because hata kuna mtu alikuwa ananiambi ah sikuzi hata sio venye kenyans walikuwa hot cake like kupata jobs you know countries zingine zinakuwa more preferred than wa Kenya. Kwa nini? Unapata si tumekuja huku tumefanya vitu mingi mpaka zimetuharibia CV. Like here, okay, personally niko Dubai. There's a client, not a client really, but a friend to my madam. So nilijifanya hata mimi hiyo story sizi jua na sijui kwanza niletea wa Kenya vibaya. But ukisikia venye wanaongea it's because they have seen it and they know. So there's a street I don't know where in uh, kuna itwaje Eagle Soup kwa hapa hivi. <laughs> kuna ito aje hiyo jina ndio afuate nita kuandikia hapo hivyo so this this uh, market uh, data yup data aliambia alikuwa ameenda huko nani masaya jioni jioni hivi so she wanted to buy some things so of which ni vitu sasa hivi yenye sasa muuliza alikuwa ameenda kununua nini and then to a shock this this street that alikuwa amepitia and vitu zenye aliona zilikuwa so shameful na pia alikuwa anafanya kazi wake ni mkenya pia akamwambia awe ni wa Kenya na vizuri kabisa demo alisikia wakiongea wengine kikuyu like our narrative languages and wengine wanaongea Kiswahili akamwambia no 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 hawa si wa Kenya maybe countries zingine you know but we are trying to defend our own wakati tunaona wenyewe pia wanafanya makosa i think ni vizuri pia tujifunze kama hauna kazi you have that energy ya kufanya job you can do something else yenye itakusaidia kuliko kujiuza kuliko kuzana because nowadays pia kuna madem wenye wanatorosha mtu kwa nyumba ukifikiria mtu anaenda kutafutia kazi anaenda kukuza kwa watu wengine which is not good so tupendane imagine tukipendana si wenyewe tusaidiane nikiona unaenda vibaya na kurekebisha it will be so good na pia jina yetu itarudi poa because the more tunajaribu kuharibu huku the more tunaharibia wale wengine wenye walikuwa wanatafuta chances za kuja kutafuta job huku si ndio so i think guys nimeongea ile kitu wengine walikuwa nafikiria nafaa kuongea if nimeku hurt i'm really sorry but i had to say it because it's always good to call a spade a spade if it's a mistake it is a mistake no matter how you say it is right it will also remain to be a mistake so thank you guys for watching thank you for staying tuned thank you for watching from the beginning to the very end be blessed stay tuned for the next video oh i almost forgot if you haven't subscribed please just make sure that you subscribe for more share the video if you have to 
like it and see to pattern the next time guys put on your post notification now and do not forget that god loves you more see you and adios i love you <laughs> now bye bye